So you went through the song, the story, and the process, you know, for making both of those two. Mm -hmm. So then you have the actual video and visuals. Yeah, okay, so I can definitely talk about that. That was very exciting for me. Um, so we, we, we finished with the song, and probably, probably before I get into the, I'll just go a little bit on the songwriting process, but I won't spend too much time on it, I don't need to. Um, yeah, we, I wrote this, I took my time with the writing because what was important for me was being able to really tell this story in a way that made sense, in a way that kind of flowed from one event to the other to the other. If you get a chance to listen to the song, it goes from him discovering the mask and him obtaining these powers to me kind of describing what he has become through this encounter. And then, um, you know, the, the fact that, you know, he does he may not understand the, the full implications of what has happened and that everything that he's about to kind of experience after that point is going to be like beyond things that he could imagine at that point. And then it kind of ends with, you know, um, is, you know, I say, is he able to honor a new commitment to understand this power? He channels beyond the distance. That's just, you know, that's him kind of accepting, you know, that's his life now. And there's going to, you know, they'll have the positives and the negatives. It's different than what he's, um, than what he's used to in his, in his many years living on earth. But, you know, that's him. And then, um, we, we got to that point. It was it was a lot of sporadic writing. Like I said, I had part of the song done before I even got this beat. When I got this beat, I was like, yeah, okay, I can I can definitely finish this. Um, so I, I made sure to not force myself to come up with lines um, first off because I used to do that before, but I kind of I kind of had more I kind of had more flexibility with it because I wasn't really rapping about anything that kind of followed a certain plot structure or a certain uh, storyline. With this one, it was really important for me to make sure that A, I knew what I was talking about. That's why um, I did research on it because I knew I wanted the character to be part man, part galaxy, part, you know, part galaxy, but I wanted to make sure I knew, I sounded like I knew what I was talking about in describing his powers and what he became. And um, yeah, and the other point was just to make sure that the story was just flowing correctly. You know, I, I have my experience with rap music and I have my experience with literature and vocabulary. All those were important, but I wasn't thinking like, you know, I'm going to be, I'm just going to be lyrical. This, you know, that's kind of a given for me. It was more like, okay, I want to be able to tell the story and construct it. So we finished the story. It was recorded at Barron's Studios with my longtime friend, Dorothy Chan, wonderful engineer at Barron's. Um, I've known her for years, even before her current promotion. So, you know, her prices went up, of course, but that was fine. This song was recorded in a four hour studio session. And I did that on purpose because in working with Dorothy, she said that she was now doing four hour sessions um, and that, um, you know, she worked, she focused on working with the best and da da da. Me and her know each other. So I'm like, all right, cool. She initially, um, recommended that if she, if I didn't feel like I might have the budget to go to the Baron Collective, which is a newer, I guess, offshot of Barons that I have actually not been to yet. And I can work with one of their, um, one of their, uh, I guess, not student engineer, maybe student engineers, one of their engineers at that particular facility and then send it to her to mix. But I was like, you know, I've worked with you before. I understand the importance of me recording and while recording, having your coaching to make sure that I sound a particular way or I'm doing a particular thing to convey a point I'm trying to make. So, I made sure I had the money to go in and record, and then, you know, I, I went, I chose to go with Dorothy for the four hours. I knew that four hours would be enough because we need enough time to really pinpoint everything that we needed for the song, make sure everything was sounding right and making sure everything was correct. So it was a four-hour studio session. Um, and then after that, yeah, the song was done. Uh, well, the, the recording was done. I still had to get it mixed after the recording, so we got it mixed. Um, before we got it mixed, that's when I got in contact with the two individuals I worked with for the video. So that was an exciting moment because at that time I had only had two people on my short list that I thought I've seen their work in the past that I thought that I would be able to get in contact with them and they might be accessible for um, enough to me for them to kind of see it and possibly listen. And out of those two, um, Dustin Garcia, he's known as Dust Tuned on YouTube. Um, he reached back out to me and he was like, yeah, you know, I, I, I got the track. When I sent it to him, I didn't even tell him it was a trap. It was a rap song. That's one thing I like about the project. I felt like I wasn't confined to just rap music. I feel like there's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of perceptions of that that people just kind of inherently have. Um, you know, people who like the music and people who don't. Um, and I, I, I still feel like 
while it's not a problem, I still feel like a lot of people might kind of meet rappers every day, aspiring rappers. So it was, it was interesting. For, well, it was good for me as an artist to be able to tell him, hey, um, I wanted to work with you. I have a superhero, superhuman origin story that I've been working on creating, and I think we can work together on creating it. That's why I told him initially, and then he saw that it was a song, and he was down for it, supported it, and then um, that's when we had our first meeting about the project. So I talked to Dustin. Dustin animated the video, um, but I told him basically what the concept was in whole. You know, just um, the way I'm speaking about it now as opposed to just what he heard in the song. So um, he... He reached out to one of his friends that he has worked with for a while. That's Alan Clark. Alan Clark ended up doing the the illustrations that you see in the video. So all of the all of the drawing artwork that was done by him. He brought him in, said, "Yeah, you know, Alan would be great for this. Alan Alan would love this." Um, and that's how the video that's how the video process started. It was mainly it was handled by Dustin and it was handled by Alan, um, and it was just it was just a matter of us communicating with each other what what well me communicating with them what I wanted for the video and what I wanted for the concept um you know we went through storyboard art um when we first started working when we first started the video you know they were giving me storyboard art they were giving me animatics so you know they were giving me real professional like how animation normally um you know starts it starts with storyboard arts and then you go to um you know you go to animatics and you kind of go into more of the rough of the video and then you get to the final you know the the final product and then you know we use all the we use all that time to you know continue talking to each other about certain concepts i was able to actually introduce another character concept that i wanted um for this particular universe in the video um i won't say her name yet because i want to get some things kind of down pat before i start doing that but um yeah it, yeah we were able to incorporate her so and, and part of that was because i wanted people to know that um I was really trying to create, you know, an, an actual like story with multiple characters and not kind of like an MF Doom thing where I portray everybody or, you know, I'm just, it's, you know, it's just a persona that I take on. I really want people to know, hey, you know, I actually have full length ideas I would like to go forward with. So I was able to introduce other characters in the video with Alan and Dustin's help. Um, but yeah, that video took... And if Dustin and Alan are watching this, they can correct me if I'm wrong. I think that that process, they finished the video in about six months, I believe. Um, and they did, they did a phenomenal job. You know, they're, they, they're, them and the, the work that they put in on, on the video, you know, I, I've never had a chance to really see something like that. That was an idea of mine, like to life like that. I'm used to seeing that like in my head, like when I'm alone at home. I might just be thinking about it. I might just be thinking about the character dynamics. Now I had the opportunity to watch this. You know, the 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 this, our secondary character that I brought in at the end of the video. If anybody gets a chance to see it, or if you see it, if it uh, if you're interested after this interview, um, you know, that's a character concept that I had for years for a completely different concept. And so I was actually able to incorporate her in this universe because I, you know, I was thinking to myself, you know, I need to, I want to be able to bring other characters and the way, you know, her character would really, really make sense in this universe. Even if I were to do like a multiverse concept with her character, as far as the original concept or the original storyline that I had for her, you know, that was a character concept that I had for maybe five or six years, but I didn't know where to start, you know, how that worked. And now I get to see her, you know, that character concept come to life. So yeah, you know, it, it, it was incredible. And Dustin and Alan, and, you know, we've been friends since we, we started working with each other. You know, Alan has been a, well, du Alan has been a big supporter, but Dustin has been a really big supporter. Dustin is prob probably at this point one of my real closest friends now just because of his support of this project, you know, re regardless what the outcome was or what other people's opinion was, if they understood it or not. He was just like, yeah, man, you, you should just be proud of yourself, so... Yeah, man, um, this project means a lot to me. It, it means a lot to me that I was able to take the initiative to even start and to make these connections and to work with various people just to, you know, make sure that the focus was kept on the project and not myself. Um, but yeah, man, that's the um, that's that's the main, that's the basic story behind the video. The video was done. Um, you know, we put everything through copyright, the video and the song, and uh, yeah, we eventually released it. We had kind of a promo run for a week. And then we release it, man. And um, it's something I'm very proud of. And I hope that this interview kind of, you know, I, I hope it brings, 
the the video and song to people's attention, and maybe I'll check it out if y'all want to. That was the intro. Yeah. This is history.